With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone, let us start with our question. In this question, we need to find the force of interaction of the two dipoles if the two dipole moments are parallel to each other and placed at a distance x apart. So this is one of the, uh, this dipole which has been placed here and this is another. So they are basically parallel, okay. And the sense is towards the positive y direction for both the cases, okay. Now how will we proceed? First of all in this we will calculate the potential energy and then from the potential energy we will be calculating the force, okay. Now the force would be F would be equals to minus du by dx, okay. This would be our force, okay. Now, first of all, we calculate the potential energy, first of all. So, the potential energy, okay, at any point for the dipole, it would be given as minus P dot E P vector. This is the, uh, this dipole moment multiplied by the electric field, sorry, dot product with the electric field. Or we can say that it would be P E cos of theta, where theta is the angle between P and E. Now, in this situation, for example, we need to find what is the force of interaction between the two dipoles. So, that would be the same force of interaction between them. So, we can just calculate the potential energy for one of the case. So, for example, if we are calculating for this of the case, so u value would be equals to minus P1, okay. So, for this dipole moment is P1. Now, what would be the electric field? It would be electric field due to second one. So, we will be calculating at this location, okay. So, we say that this is due to the electric field due to E2. Then, cause of angle between the electric field and the dipole moment okay now if we see in this situation what is the electric field due to this dipole at a distance of x so this is the formula for the dipole which we need to consider that e uh, this e value electric field value at a distance of x this would be equals to k into p this uh, this dipole that means our p2 divided by the dis cube of the distance so k p2 divided by x cube okay so it is written as k p divided by r cube where r is the distance. Now, in this situation, what is the distance from this dipole? Uh, for the this dipole, it is equals to x. So, we put the value of r as x. So, this would be x cube. So, this is our p2. We just rewrite this p2. Okay. Now, what would be the direction of the electric field? So, basically, it would be opposite. Okay. Uh, uh, direction of electric field would be opposite to the direction of the dipole moment. So, in this situation, dipole moment is going in the upward direction. So, what would be the electric field? Direction of the electric field created? We just represent here itself. So, this would be the direction of electric field which would be created, okay. We call this value as to be E2 due to P interacting with uh, P1, created due to P2 interacting with P1, okay. Now, what would be the angle between P1 and E2? Because we need to put the value of the cos of theta which is the angle between P and E2. Clearly, we can see that this is going in the up direction, this is going in the down direction. So, clearly angle would be equals to pi, pi means 180 degree. Now, we put all the values in our equation 1. So, we can say that our u would be equals to minus p1 into k. k is 1 by 4 pi epsilon. So, we will be putting the value. So, it would be k p2 divided by x cube cos of 180. Now, cos of 180 is minus 1. So, u value would turn out to be a k p1 p2 divided by x cube. So, this minus and this minus would be uh, basically multiplied and then would be the positive sign. Now, this is the value of u. So, what is the value of f? force of interaction would be equals to minus times du divided by dx. We just need to differentiate this, okay. So, there is no need for the partial differentiation because it is just a function of x. So, we can just differentiate it with respect to x. So, the constant term, we take the constant term to be outside k p1 p2. Then it would be just differentiation of x cube. So, if we can just write the differentiation of 1 divided by x cube, it would be equals to minus 3 divided by x to the power 4. This would be the differentiation of 1 by x cube. So, the force value would turn out to be k 3k p1 p2 divided by x to the power 4 or if we put the value of k, if we can just check the option. So, we need to put the value of k. So, 3 divided by 4 pi epsilon p1 p2 divided by x to the power 4. So, which is the correct option? So, 3 p1 p2 by 4 pi epsilon uh, this x to the power 4. So, this would be the correct option. A, sorry, A is our correct option, not B. It is the A option. Hope you understood the solution. Thank you. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.